Good morning, beautiful people. Today is March 10th. It is very cold outside. <laughs> See my breath? It is very cold. Uh, I think it's like eight, a little after eight in the morning right now. I'm getting ready to go to uh, work or start work. But I had a question for you guys. So I put plastic and I had to put this up here because I don't have any clamps yet. So the, the plastic wouldn't blow away. I put this here because our temperatures have been getting below uh, freezing. So I had to put the, the plastic on top of here. I was wondering, since we're about to get a lot of rain, I think starting Friday, we're gonna start getting a lot of rain Friday and Saturday, and then another day, I think. Um, should I leave this plastic on here to avoid uh, my plants getting too much water? Especially that lettuce. That lettuce, again, it had started to mold. I'm assuming that's what that was. Um, I just wanna make sure I am protecting my plants. And I've left this plastic on top of all these plants. Even though they are cold tolerating plants, I didn't want to take any chances simply because they got extremely cold. Uh, I didn't get a chance to cover up my onions, but the onions seem to be doing uh, okay. So uh, I think I asked in my last video, do I need to trim these or anything like that? Or do I just let them grow as long as they want? I do probably need it. Well, you know, it doesn't need to be watered because it's been cold. No sun has really been out. I also just covered up my potatoes. Again, I know that they're cold tolerating plants, but I covered up my potatoes simply because it was cold. Um, I know I asked in my last video, what the heck are these growing? I'm confused. How come it looks like why these look like blades of grass versus this is looks like an actual plant these are my potatoes from the store and then these again are the ones from the um, farmers market and I put them in the ground on 225 24 uh, yeah I don't know do I need to start over I'm not sure what's going on with this one I know they're not the same but this one has like blades of grass growing in it too is that how this right here starts off i didn't see it i wasn't checking it that often but it's just weird to me i don't know let me know <laughs> but yeah i am going to go ahead and put this blanket away i also put this i think it's called a a moving blanket on top of my greenhouse i'm probably overdoing it but i was like i don't want nothing else dying even though i know it is but i was like i don't want nothing else dying so inside of my greenhouse uh everything still looks fine i checked it yesterday the night before is when we had the the freeze so let's see what they're looking like today So this is what these plants are looking like. Looks like I only have one dino kale and one collard. I think I have plant, oh no, yeah, yeah, and one collard. And then these right here are black magic kale. Again, I don't have a lot of, don't get a lot of sun. Let me show you guys what I be talking about. Everyone keeps telling me, hey, you need, a, you need to put them in the sun, you need to put them in the sun. And I'm like, hey, I can't. I can only be on my back porch. Uh, my who I rent from, the, the company does not allow us to put uh, stuff on the grass. So let me show you guys real quick. So this is my backyard. I get a lot of sun. We get a lot of sun in the grass. You guys see the sun right there is rising, but it's not gonna be enough for my plants. I'm hoping that I don't need to give up. I know there are some shade loving plants out there, but I don't know. So anyways, there's gonna be like a lot of sun throughout the day on the grass. But over here on my porch, this is the only place I'm allowed to grow. So I'm not allowed to go off of this concrete. Like that's why you see everything literally on the concrete, concrete and nothing on the grass. We're not allowed to do it. Again, we get sun, but not a lot. So what I was thinking is that since my sister owns her, her house, I was thinking about 
perhaps moving some of my plants over to her house especially the the ones that love the sun so like when i my tomatoes started to grow and my peppers and things like that maybe i'll move them over to her house and i don't know we'll see that's what i'm thinking though but that's gonna be she doesn't live that far she probably lives like 10 10 to 12 minutes away from me um but that's gonna be a lot of work trying to take care of my plants here and then going over to her house i don't know but again she gets a lot of sun in her yard just something to think about i'm not sure if what's happening right there you guys see all that white if that's about to be mold or whatever so i am about to put some cinnamon on top of my plants i watched someone on youtube do it i just happened to watch their video and they had they were putting uh cinnamon on their plants or their seedlings not actually on the plant i know i need to put it on the soil but they were doing that and then someone left a comment for me as well telling me hey just put some soil on it i mean sorry put some cinnamon on the soil uh and it it, it won't like grow mold or something like that so that is what i am about to do right now i didn't realize that my camera turned off oh i skipped this one i don't know how i skipped the whole plant and i forgot those ones back there but this is what it looks like now i put a little bit of cinnamon oh it looks like a lot a lot of cinnamon on these i'm gonna go back in the house and grab it again but I, is it time for me to upplant these ones? Is it okay or no? Do I need to wait again? Someone said it's, it goes through, it get three sets of true root, or two, three sets of leaves. It get these ones right here, and then it gets two sets of true leaves, I think. Do I need to wait for the other set of true leaves to come? Um, anyways, let me know in the comments down below. I am about to make me some breakfast, you guys. So... If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye! I forgot that I needed to show you guys my seedlings. So I have one that germinated. Not 100% sure if I, I did turn off the heating mat. So I have the heating mat right here. It's unplugged. And then I put the grow light. Uh, did I need to wait for more to germinate? Or was it hey as soon as you see one germinate go ahead and uh turn off the heating mat and put on this lamp right here the light the grow light because that's what i did because people kept on saying hey your things are leggy because you still have them on the heating mat and they're reaching for the sun or they're reaching for light so unfortunately this heating light it's not adjustable so i can't make it any lower and it's all it's going to be up this high i do have these these are all tomatoes oh i don't know if i mentioned i'm on top of my refrigerator so this stuff is on top of my refrigerator but i don't know if um i literally just watered these yesterday they're so dry they might be dry because there's so many but anyways you guys i'm sorry i have add um if you hear something in the background i'm sorry i just started the dishwasher wasn't even thinking when i picked up the camera but i I still have these ones on the heating mat so this heating mat i do have two heating mats i do need to get another grow lamp grow light and i'm hoping that things does do well now now that i have this stuff this thing was so expensive this little grow lamp was 50 dollars. let me know in the comments below if i can find another grow lamp but not for so much money because this little thing, I was like, good grief, $50, but I bought it anyway.